Everybody, welcome to How They Rolled, episode 11. Tonight we're going to cover all those fun things that happened and maybe the crazy things as well uh, that happened in episodes 11 of Together We Roll. It'll be uh, the old frog, or the oldie frog, if you watch the episode. Uh, and also um, one of my favorite titles, Old Farts and Rich Rocks. And we'll talk about that as well. And tonight we've got, uh, on the in the hot seats, we've got Sparks. And we've got Sonny, and we have Derek, or better known as, ah, we'll just keep your names that way. Why not? They don't need to know your real names. Let's give them a character. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. Of course. What I hear, yeah. player, or Solera, we were, we're here to see so, that. So the beginning of, uh, um, the, beginning of the, uh, the Old Frog episode, actually, we got to debut our final piece of character art, which was... Sparks and his sexy legs. Sparks and his sexy legs. Yeah, sexy calves and sexy calves. You see these legs, you think thin, you know, and there's no, no, these were like calves. These were like, you know, powerful thighs. Powerful thighs. This term is thick. Powerful. Thunder thighs. So um, that was really great. And um, so with Sparks being added to our final piece, which was really challenging to hold off the pieces of art when we had them before. Uh, uh, the actual episodes, we you know, we obviously had them in our possession. We wanted to show them off right away. It was really, really hard for me to hold off not putting them out and sharing them out in the internet world as fast as they came in. But in any case, we got to round out our last character set with Sparks, and we laid out our, our list. And so, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in part two, um, I want everyone to please, uh, if you haven't watched part two yet, go out there because we've got a new intro. Put together a new intro that's out there on part two, uh, old farts and rich rocks. So um, anyway, so we come up, you guys, uh, where, where we were starting up with episode 11 here, you're coming in on the airship and uh, you've got the dead beholder there and you've gone through and, and done your investigations on the ship and uh, uh, there comes up the descriptions that our dungeon master provided for Gerdum. Am I saying it correct? Gerdum. Gerdum. It's almost like get her done. Get her done. Get her done. Get her done. We got her done. It's, it's worth So, time. what did you guys think when you first heard and saw what what this thing, what this city looked like when you were coming in and were coming in on the airship? Oh, typical dwarven city. Impressive, <laughs> right? Big, awesome. No, the the, the, oh. the part was where the guards are all running up. That was the. That part I didn't like. <laughs> so that was the oh, oh. Yeah, I didn't like that part as much. And then, and then we realized we had the rock of screw off. <laughs> Yes, it reminds me of my it's funny to play. <laughs> The Rock of Screw Off. Yep. <laughs> the Rock of Screw Off. Explain. For um, the rest of those who were. Oh, for come those on. If you haven't seen it, uh, Sunny received a, a jewel, a rock, a signet rock of some kind that he can show people. And basically says he works kind of for the Archmage and Lightning. It's the end of that sentence. So. Well, that was the Archmage <coughs> Lady Lolo, right? Yes. The Archmage Lady Lolo, Lolo that, that was you were able Lulu. to... Yeah, Lolo. 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 Eck only hears Lolo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but this was uh, the the Archmage that was also a passenger on the ship. And he luckily made friends. We, the Kinder Stranger, made friends with her uh, before arriving. And that was able to give us our... Which, if, if you really think about it, the ship was never in jeopardy. Just, she was watching us at any point, and Archmage could have just went, <coughs> yeah, they're gone. It's true. One would have. It didn't, <laughs> at the time, uh, in episode 10, at the time when, when Eck was literally clinging for his life on the rails, uh, he wasn't, <laughs> he didn't know anything. Didn't look that way, did it? Didn't yeah, look that right. way. And who knows, it probably uh, said, well, the, <laughs> he's gone, the ship's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> More or less. So we get there, in this, and, and who shows up? But this tempered eye of Amaral Dobesh. Tempered uh, eye. Tempered eye. What the heck does this guy do to us? A royal class douchebag. Royal class douchebag. You know, that's funny. I put Swarmy down here. <laughs> <laughs> but a royal class douchebag is pretty good. He took our papers. He took our papers. He took my independence. Yeah, you're the only one that's really got hosed. Well, I'm stuck with that now. What? So now I have more reason to be with the group because I'm with 
You need to hang out with The Rock. I need, I need to be part of The Rock. She's not The Rock's guy. No, wait. Well, can't say that. That would be copyright. For <laughs> Sorry, Dwayne. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just got two and two together. So, um, so anyway, this. What does this guy do? What does this guy do? What did he do when he? What? And what did you think about it when he did? Because he goes, "Let me see your papers." Yeah, I think he kind of recognized a few of us. And uh, maybe. And I what? think it was probably the mask and hat. That well, I mean, they, they always get the nose wrong, so it's not always the same person, right? <laughs> yes, we're going to keep this going. So. <laughs> I, 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 I'm looking for a magic item that will help solve this problem, okay? Really, I am. A mask of disguise self? No, not a mask of disguise self. An actual mask? No, just a ring that'll alter itself, alter the face, so I can have an alias. Ah. That would be, nice. be a ring of alter self. Right. Yeah. They're not that expensive. No, right. That's I just need to find a magic step shop and, and buy one. As, yeah, as soon as I get some gold. <laughs> I'm kind of dead. I'm in debt to three people in the party now. I owe, I owe one person 20 gold. I owe another person 300 gold. You're not? I owe, I owe uh, somebody else no. about 100, 100 gold. No, 100 yeah, gold is me. 300. No, 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 no. 100 is me. 300 is Barry. Is <laughs> it Barry? It was Barry. Barry, okay. It was Barry. Okay, so yeah, 300, 100, and 20. So I'm breaking up a debt, and I didn't even want to do that. So <laughs> Derek is, is not the guy that kind of kind of that that goes into debt. No. Maybe, maybe you should get a ring of animal handling. Animal handling, yeah, maybe. It's partially why you're in debt. <laughs> <laughs> that was an honest mistake. Okay. Next time I will use the I will I will use the the yoke to, to get up on the animal. Uh, well, yeah, the yoke. That may not have turned out much different. Mm, well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have harmed the animal, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't have, uh, the animal probably wouldn't have been feared off if I had used the yoke. So. Well, uh, Let me learn. Uh, speaking of uh, debts, uh, Eck uh, has debts to every single one of the Kingdom of Strangers. He's got a life debt to pay back pretty much to everybody. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I only saved him four times. Well, that's what he sees. That's what he sees. Wow, he so. takes that shit way too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> we all save we, each we, other. We all have each other's backs. <laughs> you're, 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 so. You tip the scale with your healing, so. That's right. Yeah. That, that's. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, getting back to uh, Emerald Debesh here, the squirmy royal douchebag. Was that it? The royal douchebag. Royal so, douchebag. again, what does he do? He takes the papers, looks at them all, and then what? Takes them. Takes them, yes. Doesn't even doesn't even look at them. Just takes them. By the way, this is like taking the passports when you're in a foreign country and go, "Welcome to whatever backwater country you want to think of." Botswana. <laughs> and, Botswana. I'm not a that. Mm. I don't know what I'm I doing. think Derek should pay his office uh, a visit. <clears throat> no. no. Yes. No. <laughs> Why not? Because you're connected to you're, us now. You're not that kind of rogue. Uh, he's not going to figure it out. You're not that kind of rogue. <laughs> and, yeah. How did God handle this? Wait a minute, I'm not a rogue. How did God handle this with the... With the... <laughs> he just was throwing papers. <laughs> Why was he doing this? Why was he doing that? Apparently he didn't want to get caught with them or something. Uh, I think no. he was figuring out, oh, they've got the, the, the fork of the, fork, oh, the, the template. Yes, He's the, got the template. The template. Yeah. I, I was going to say copyrighted material, but it's not really copyrighted if he's uh, forging mm. it. So, if if you want a little bit of light on that, it's basically templates. Ooh, out. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, the voice he above. Does that a lot. Yeah. Wow, uh, the DM's voice comes in. That's true. Yeah, he's always watching us. Right? It's scary. You know, he's, he has that. He has that. Ah, no more chirping, Pippin. He has that, what's that, uh, you pull up the wire, the silver wire, and you know, he messages, Message, yeah. and messages you, oh, he's messaging you right now. But it's quite literally the template that took a week's worth of work into a single day. That's what the template that was ripping up and uh, throwing away because now they know what kind of uh, uh, little tricks that he used, mm -hmm. and now they'll be able to be more uh, susceptible to those types of fake documents. Which is why I need to visit his office to recapture the paper. Uh huh. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Tune in to see how well that goes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll we'll show him something shiny. In a <laughs> Look, there's a naked dragon over there. You should go see it. 
And I, so, as much as you like dragons. So I saw God <laughs> just realizing that all of his, um, uh, all of his secrets on what he did and how he did it and what you know, layers of. <laughs> what are you doing? God, God can't keep a secret. <laughs> Because Eck will tell it. <laughs> yep. Uh, but the, but Poor God. Yeah, that stuff was about. And we did this, and God's like... Poor guy. Your brother. Right? Gibson's bouncing, for those of you who yes. haven't seen him. Oh, wait, I don't know. Is he off camera? He's, he's, he's off camera. He's off camera. Okay. He's only on camera. He's, 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 that's true. Part. Anyway, he's between cameras. So, um... Okay, so as we're traveling through Gurdun, which is like this three-tiered city, right? You know, multi-tiered, you know, awesome. I was, I thought it was really colorful myself, as far as the styles of uh, the styling and visual effects of the of my head that, that that our dungeon master put into our heads. Hopefully, it did the same for you. Um, <laughs> sorry about this. We have we have Pippin being. Uh, uh, a bird. A bird. He's grabbing things he shouldn't be grabbing. Um, different pieces of the set. <laughs> I, I got the sense from the whole episode, both one and two, that this city had been a different city, or a city pounded on top of another city that got pounded on top of a new, mm. now there's a new city because of the... You know, that's interesting. And you, you wonder whether or not it's because it could be, you know, we are at a volcano too. You wonder whether or not there's been cataclysm or not, and rebuild and tear down and rebuild. Who knows? You know, I, I, but that's an interesting, uh, interesting concept. We'll have to see whether or not uh, you know, that that comes out anywhere. Um, I thought it kind of interesting that we had several of the discussions as we're walking through the city and and just chatting, and we got on the subject about Barian and his um, his experience in the uh, in the ways of uh, the opposite sex or or, or not. <laughs> and uh, so it came to the question of whether or not Barian was a virgin. And uh, if Jace were here, I'd like to ask him if he has an opinion on that. We'll have to see if he can hear me or not. Well, he's far away. Okay. If only Jace were here. If only. To ask a question about Barian. <laughs> <laughs> Jace, Jace, is not, Jace is not one of the... Right, it's being on camera. Believe it or not. So, um, our best, our best actor out of the bunch. <laughs> uh, so, what was what was um, interesting is X terminology that he came up with. This is was uh, grunting, slap shelling, grunt, yeah, warble the turtle, warble the yeah, grunting, grunting the half shell, yeah, grunting. <laughs> grunting. That the was my shell. favorite, by the way. Yes. And this is that moment where we remind you, please don't let your children watch this show. Unless you're like us, in which case, by all means. Warble the Torkel. Warble the Torkel. So, uh, yeah, grunting the half shell. Uh, enjoy it, people. Uh, that visual. Um, you'll, you'll see the shirts in a couple of years out of grunting the oh half no. shell. <laughs> Have you grunted the half shell? <laughs> so, uh, we make ourselves to. There's a, there's a tavern we're looking for. What was the name of the tavern? Old fraud. Old fraud. Mm, fraud. No, it wasn't. But I. It was, you it need to put accent. that dwarvish accent on That's it. Right. Yes. The dwar dwarvish accent. The dwarvish accent, which was then called the old fraud. The old fraud. The old fraud. The fraud. The old fraud. The old fraud. The old fraud. Which we didn't want to go to because plot hooks and shit like that. <laughs> we were trying to avoid a couple and just rest for a little while, but that didn't work out. There's nothing wrong with work. So what was it like when you finally got to the to the oldie frog, old death frog? Trying to keep our people from fighting the uh, bear dwarf man thing. Duh, duh. That is not copyright <laughs> off that other thing because I said it totally different. Because <laughs> it's not a man. It was a dwarf bear something. Come here, buddy. He's, he's being difficult. Dwarf man bear thing. We're going to take him Riff. off. All right. he's, yeah. he's, he wants to play. So... Of course, he, he went by the bearer, so... It, it was nauseatingly disgusting. Mm. Unless you like that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, if you like watching... No. <laughs> Just no. It was bad. Why was it bad? Harry dwarves? 
sweaty, hairy. Well, he first just said dwarf. hairy dwarves, and I don't know if there's any dwarf that isn't hairy, but uh, but sweaty and hairy dwarf, okay. No, there was a sweaty dwarf just doing his thing when he wasn't supposed to be doing his thing. And making our lives difficult and then paying us money to not paying us money because we're all broke because we didn't get paid for the last job we were supposed to get paid for. We'll get into that in a minute. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we're not taking any more jobs on credit. <laughs> because, um... Well, he did say we could pick up whatever we find in the, the, the mines. It's a French rock mine, right? I know. So... Okay, do you have metallurgy? No. Do you have any knowledge of metal? Do you? Mister, you're made out of it, but do you have any knowledge? Just because I'm, I'm made of it doesn't mean that I know how to get it. Okay, so what are we going to find in there? Whatever we kill, that's what we're going to find. Ooh, we can, well, at this point, we can bring back slag guts. Yeah, you never know. We might run into a vein and say, there it is. Let's mine it ourselves. Yeah. With what? With what? I'm Our sure swords? It's a mine. I'm sure there'll be mine tools lying around somewhere. Really? And now we know why Derek is such a good negotiator. Do you, right. do you, do you, I'm flexible. When, when you leave work right. in real life, do you leave all your tools laying on the ground? Certainly not. Okay. Daughters are very particular about the weapons they use. True. And their tools. How can they take them But if, if they're traveling way down, down below and... That's their work area, and they know only the workers are going to go down to that area, and then they go back up to a higher level to their homes. They're going to leave their tools down there. Not necessarily. So they're going to, they're going to leave their, their nice metal tools down in a dungeon where it's nice and damp so they can rust. That's a really dwarven thing to do. Or get stolen by cobalt. Wait, wait, wait. It's not, it's not rusting down there because it's a volcano. It's a lot of hot air down there. Nothing's going to rust. Oh, so warm, damp air. Okay. <laughs> That's even better. Yeah, that's great. That, no, that'll get rusted well, real quick. Dampness. I, I don't think we've run into any dampness in these caves yet. That's where a lot of water actually comes from. Yeah, there, there was water veins. He was talking about the steam. Yeah. Oh, I missed that part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there goes your whole argument. <laughs> okay. Because dwarves love rusty picks. All right. Right. Fine. So, <laughs> well, we're gonna get we're gonna move, move into this a little bit here before, but but I want to go back to the taverns that you were visiting. Uh, before you got the old day frog, the old day frog. I'm not. I don't speak. It's an all day frog. The old day frog. Old day frog. Old day frog. Old day frog. Uh, one of the things was a really sweet moment with Hazel and Sparks. Aww. Oh, yeah. I bought a straw for our gold. You bought it. That wasn't what I was thinking of. <laughs> but yes, that was bloody hilarious. <laughs> where Sparks, you drank for the first time. Yes, can I keep the straw? You may not keep the straw. Put a gold on the table. Can I keep the straw? You may keep the straw. The one gold straw. So, uh, certainly a, uh, um, a, a funny moment there. But soon thereafter, so you're not, you're not able to pass out, right? You're not able to fall asleep. Uh, but what did the alcohol do to you? We didn't actually really talk about all that much. We just kind of glazed over it. Well, that, yeah, there was some glazing going on in the eyes. Well, I mean, no, it's up. literally, I just pulled the mask up, put the straw up, put the mask up. Yeah, and then you were face down. But actually, before you were face down, this is where, um, out. remember, out. what did Hazel, what did, Hazel, right. what did Hazel, what did Hazel ask you, Sparks? I wanted to dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sweet. That was, that, that's that was, a picture. That was so, it was really sweet. It's a football player with a cheerleader. Yeah, and I can, you know, and you imagine they're, 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 they're doing a little slow waltz kind of thing, but her feet are dangling because he's got her just up here because she's this little tiny thing. Five foot six, seven foot, even. So that was really sweet. Did you actually find yourself impacted by, the, by Hazel's response to come and, and ask you to dance? Was this something, or is, or is this just over his head and he doesn't even realize that that was possibly... Not more than just a kind, friendly gesture. Well, if you actually look back at the video, I did think about it for a moment. Like, wait a minute, you're asking me to dance. That's not something that anyone ever does because they assume I'm either a machine or a construct. They don't think that I have free will. They don't think that I would want to, or think that I would even be able to dance. So that, that, that was kind of the first major 
how to say it, human moments mm. that I've had in as long as I can remember. Human contact moment. You've had several human moments. Yes, human moments, but, but, but no, no human, no humanity aimed at you. Yeah. Mac, uh, Sonny, and uh, and your brother Barian. Uh, you guys are coming up to this mine. What's your thoughts on uh, whether or not this is a, a good thing or a bad thing? Or uh... Uh, Sonny's more meh about this whole thing. He's like, let's just get this done and get out of here because this is just all... To him, this is silliness. But he's also... Sonny's at that point where he's embracing kind of what he is and getting ready to pull away from it and do something else. So... But he's more excited for Barian because this will be Barian's first chance to, I think, cut loose. Because it's rocks all around. This is this is because uh, we we recently found out for sure that uh, Flan is not just a rock. So and I still haven't seen this. Not so. just a rock. Yeah, I mean, we found that out from from uh, the Archmage Lulu Lolo. Yeah, <laughs> Archmage Lolo that. This is actually some kind of elemental rock or something. And we've seen him grow. We've now... Uh, uh, Hazel apparently saw him eat. eat. And he ate right That's in front of me the last game. No, he ate right in front of me the last game. Okay. Because well. when we set something down and he sat on it and it went and it disappeared. And I was like, oh, oh okay. So, no, and Barian... I, for me, it's great because I'm watching Barian become less dependent. The backstory between Barry and Sonny is Barry has been very dependent on Sonny. So it's Sonny's hope that through these adventures that he becomes very much more self-sufficient. And and kind of like the big brother watching his little brother actually, you know, get the job or do the whatever it is. So he, he's looking at this and he's like, yeah. So you, you'll see Sonny pull a little bit away from Barry, even though Barry is strange and protective over Sonny still, which is kind of weird. But I. Sonny's thing is this is this is a means to an end. Sonny's more interested in making it now to the city to go see what the Archmage really wants and go find out about his other dad. So this is just let's do this thing so we can get going. So I still find it absolutely hilarious that every time there's a moment that shows that Flan is not just a rock, I have nowhere to be seen. I never actually see the actual Hazel arrive. The actual event. So I still I still think that Flan is a rock. Yes, about half the group still thinks he's a rock. Because we haven't seen those things happen. That's right. Well, but the Archmage flat out said in front of a lot of us that it is what it is. And right, but Derek wasn't within earshot of that. No, Derek was off playing with his sword. Right. Better practice. <laughs> All right, and of course, Derek, we know your motivations why you're here. Yes. We're, we do know that. Okay, so you get to the old frog, <laughs> right. old, old day frog, and you... Uh, find this hulkish type dwarf, he's hairy and he's fighting and drinking, he's drinking barrels of, of, of fluid and, and it's coming out of his pores. That we paid for. Uh, that we paid for, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that would have another reason why I went and to my golden day. you have this letter from Darla. Right. And where did this letter come from? You were coming to deliver this letter to this guy? Right. Where did it come from? It came from the, the female dwarf uh, that was in the city that we first uh, met each other at the tavern. Yep. And then she housed us up the night uh, before we took off and left the city, thanks to a certain captain of the guard telling us, don't be here at sunrise. That's why we've been doing this? <laughs> what? No, that's, that's, that's just one reason. But you, you, you never, never asked, said you it never was for her. Asked, you never asked Eric why. <laughs> you, I thought that was great. You, you asked. never asked him why. You <laughs> haven't asked like, multiple people, and the only alias you possibly get anyone is the damn letter. Yeah. Why we have the other question? question? That's because everybody no, else is official business. No, 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 so wait, 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 wait. We liked her. <laughs> this would have been this would have been far more of like we need to do this other than oh let's just take care of shit. <clears throat> Seriously? That's your best option? What? A letter? It? No. No. You guys, I can't tell you yet because nobody's asked me yet. So many people have asked! What do you mean, many of people have asked? the damn letter! I mean, what? We keep asking why you wanted to go to the Dwarven City. And you went, because I have to deliver a letter. That's, That's right. it! And that was it. And you didn't say, the letter from the lady who helped us out drastically at the very beginning. 
Yeah, but there's a there's a second reason. You know, it's and I'm not gonna reveal it unless somebody pries into it. So this is oh, you're not a, I use something. So this is interesting. Um, so Sonny, you're not happy here with Derek because no, Sonny uh, doesn't know this. This is just me. No, and no, no. But but Spark doesn't care. The rest. That's it. Yeah, they didn't the care. The so they didn't ask. The rest they of the don't know. Didn't ask. They didn't ask. That's right. However, what was in that letter was far more important. Right. Yeah. This is the gut yeah, busting well, moment. Well, that's something Derek and, didn't even know. So. And if you if you haven't watched it, you've got to watch this because I watch it over and over again as I'm just you know checking sound and edits and stuff. And every time I came across that, I would just lose a gut. I'd laugh my, <laughs> just laugh. It's such a funny moment. It's one one of the great great moments of of, of the show so far. And it's not exactly so what's it, what's in the uh, that is what's not it? the dwarf that I had pictured in my mind when I was to deliver this message to him. So what's like, in the letter? I wasn't told. We saw what was in the letter. You you weren't told, but what was in the letter? Then when he opens up the letter. Oh, it was magical, magical. Well, no, no, no. At first, it was like a whole bunch of blank pieces. Oh yeah, it was a cut down. Paper, it was a cut paper, down. Like paper, like paper, like paper, um, like paper. Yeah, it was. It, yeah, it was a different. It, it was, was a it? definite cut down of the guy. And I was like, uh, she really didn't tell me what was in it. She just told me to deliver it to you. So I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. But <laughs> another That's surprise. Cool. Yeah, so then, surprise number one, I wasn't expecting this kind of a dwarf. And number two, I wasn't expecting that kind of a message. So I was like, I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, number three, very, very didn't familiar. expect him to do what he did with it. That's true. And number four, what came out of it was even better. Right. It was some kind of a yeah, message, a magical message with maps and whatever. No. Uh, it's a new, it, it looked like official document template stuff. Let me describe it because it came out in like wire shape for official documents, uh, okay. like yep. government documents. So, so I'm wondering. I'm thinking this is we got a new place to get papers. This is this where we get this new guy. papers? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, so. better yet, what's the best place to get counterfeit anything? A dwarf. Well, first of all, well, I guess a dwarf. But you know, if you get a counterfeit anything, you're going to go to a dwarf. <laughs> Not a gnome. No gnomes are. You gotta, it takes 20 minutes to get past their name. This is like the black market of dwarves, I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah, well, no. Oh, you well, mean we go, to the, shady we go to the shady district, yes. Yes, it is the yeah, shady well, district. We're in the shady so, district no. with a guy, the half man dwarf bear. <laughs> so He was a dwarf, then he ate a bear. So Derek, you, were, uh, you also start asking about something else. Yes. What were you asking about? The quest. The lightning sword of Lazar, which yeah, is the real this is reason some, why we were hanging. We got to learn some backstory stuff here, which was a great way to bring it in. Right. So what, what, what were you looking for? The lightning sword of Lazar. I have a lightning sword. It's a, a sword, sword that sword. allows the user to, well, this is just what Derek's been told from his family, a story that was told uh, about um, a lightning sword that not only does lightning damage, but it enhances the user to move very quickly. Hmm. And so, oh, no. it's Derek's so quest. It's, it's Derek's dread, quest. The Dread get. Fighter Flash. Yes, the Derek. Dread Fighter Derek is looking for the Flash sword Fighter. to make him Flash a very Derek. formidable swordsman. So well, he is definitely after this sword. How about just and he still needs to ask the bear what he meant by, oh, not another one. Mm. So I need to find out what the heck that was about. So and the bear is the 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 dwarf, the old old fart. Yes, we're the old fart there. in the old day frog. Right. Uh, now, why were you looking for this sword? Um, it's part of his quest because uh, his uh, his hometown is is currently ruled by a king that is a tyrant. He is overtaxing the people. He is drafting people into his military that don't want to be drafted. Um, and uh, basically, isn't that what the draft is? He's, he's, well, is his, is, right. his, is his name the sheriff? I don't know what his, no, his name is, uh, uh, I, I've got it written down. Not, and, 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 he, no. and he's not into, and he's, no. he's not a sheriff and he's not into ham. No, uh, that's right. See if he was then. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I had a name for him, I just can't think of it off the top of my head. it. But, whatever. He's overtaxing the people. That's why Derek stole the gold back to give back to the people. That's why he's wanted. So this is all part of part of what's going on with that, and that's another reason why he wants the sword because he knows that um, hopefully he'll get a chance to try to deal with this uh, tyrant king and uh, 
uh, put in somebody better than him. Do you know what else you can do? Hmm? You know, you know what else you can do to do this? Round up a group of heroes and they could go help him. Yeah, which is another reason why he hung out with you guys. <laughs> oh, wait, we're heroes. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm I'm Caesar Puppet. And Sorry. apparently, I'm the son of a right. So when you get God, that, if, so, if yeah. you ever get that sword, then we get to go. We you can be like flash about, right? Mm-hmm. And then you can save every one of us. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> really fast. <laughs> you know, like, th- th- that anniversary of that just came out a couple days. ago. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I notice how I mixed it up just enough to where I didn't throw it all together. So. Yeah. Pretty much said the you, you, It's not copyright. <laughs> you kind of felt in this that every time Derek calls himself uh, the Dread Fighter, Derek, there's this thunder noise after after that, and. Uh, Thunder, thunder always follows lightning. Uh, oh, you guys, I, thought, I, I thought you guys just, didn't pick I thought up. I was just very important. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking too. Or, so, or no, that was probably no. He'll just blame it on. Uh, Does that make you thunder me lightning or me thunder you lightning? Don't point near me at this stuff. I'm just a black cloud of doom. I'm the one with the lightning sword. Yeah, he already has a lightning sword. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get one too. Hopefully, <laughs> if I find that sword, <laughs> I need that sword. That's okay. I just need one more level, and everything gets more funny. Okay. <laughs> what? One more level and everything gets more funny. What level are you? What? Six. Oh. Ah! Get to level seven. Interesting. Okay. So, I'm, I'm, you get I'm, another skill when I get seven. Yep. I'm waiting for seven. Character already announced what he was doing to everybody, even the, the, the lady. I'm going down a different path. So, I'm doing what uh, our friend Jace is famous for. So, so, so again, no. we're going to. Derek's fabulous uh, negotiation skills. He's talking with, he's talking with the old fart, <coughs> dwarf, hulkish dwarf with uh, sweat and skin. He's, he's literally sweating beer and shaking his shoulders into the into in the cups of ale. And uh, how? What do you what do you negotiate from this guy to go clean out what? To go do what? Well, and what do you get for it? What information. Do you... Information about where the location of the dungeon is that has the lightning sword of Lazar. And whatever bounty we get from from being down in the mines. See, this is why this entire group hates dwarves. Because for some reason, whenever you go find a dwarf city, they want you to go clear out a mine for various reasons <laughs> for little to no gain. Yeah, you can keep what's down there, which will be dead bodies. Which will be a little bit of stuff, if you're lucky. If you come out alive and don't get killed, you may come out with like two levels. Well, he did say he was going to pay us when we got back as well. So. How much? He didn't mention it. Exactly! <laughs> no more negotiating for you. What's your charisma? Uh, yeah, my charisma's good. Yeah, what is it? Off About the top 10? of my head, I think it's like uh, 16, 18, something like that. Yeah, leave it to the people who have the super high charisma to negotiate stuff. By like 20 plus. 20 plus. I yeah. think we're talking okay. intelligence here thing, not an charisma thing. But no, it's charisma. It's charisma. It's char- you want to give me money. No, no, all the money. See the difference between, you know, we have to, this expense, this expense, that's not going to go over with a dwarf. True. The thing about that's it true. is, is I need that information to find the lightning sword of Lazar, so that was... Uh, we're helping. Right. That's so, right. so do, do, do any of you guys... Not that bad. Do any, do, do any of you guys remember what the guy said was coming out of the mine? Stuff. <laughs> he just said stuff. He didn't know. He said, he, he, he didn't no, know any exact details. Yeah, Goblins and cobalt. And, 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 and something bigger. And something bigger and uglier than whatever. Which is why it's scaring everybody out there. So that's A land of shark. Uh, oh, oh land yeah. Shark. Yeah, whatever. You have uh, trauma from other games. <sighs> yes, I did. So, uh, it's nasty. Fireballs work on all of those, except for it came out after us! <laughs> so, uh, getting over to the to the caverns, the Rich Rock Mine, uh, where we're going in for an undetermined amount of money <laughs> to go uh, clear out an undetermined amount of traps and an undetermined amount of enemies and an undetermined amount of... That was kind of that way. Well, that's that's direction. Good. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> undetermined direction. That's good because we can call it when we say, "Okay, that's enough to clear out. Let's go back." <laughs> we get to decide how much we're going to clear out. You go talk to the dwarf, and we just go and kill one or two things, and then we'll see how it goes. And, and, when you're and, not broken in half. And for those of you who are keeping well, track, I was going to let Sparks negotiate for me. <laughs> no, Sparks. Of course. Works. 
No, no, no sparks negotiating. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm actually really good at medicine, too. Uh, yeah. No. Sure, sure you are. Hey, hey, come on, I've saved you four times. Four times, okay. using your med kits. Given I have a negative two to the roll, but it's still, I'm, I'm good at it. All right, so. Um, and here we go. <laughs> What do we what do we find in these mines? Or what's coming out of these mines? Swalbombs and a salamander. And cool. So far. Uh, but actually that's what we found yeah, in the mines. What was coming so there was so things are running out of the mine are coming out of the mine. So we know a land shark was coming out. And so that would be that whatever's in there is is bigger or badder than a land shark. Well I don't know not if that's necessarily not, not, yeah, I, I, would I think a land that. shark's pretty pretty bad enough. Really? Yes. It's gotta be Those something land shark doesn't want to eat, because it can just dig around and be good. So that's gonna be interesting to understand what what's scaring off a land shark. A land shark's in its own element, so I'm curious. So. Well, probably the salamander. That's one thing. Those well, the salamander, different. yeah, that's where we, we came up and we closed episode <clears throat> part two, Old Farts and Rich Rocks, um, and that was where we're uh, where we were starting the battle. Uh, felt kind of good to just go in and, and cut things down real quick. Until this glowing ember of a creature uh, comes around the corner and and the temperature rises as a fire-covered salamander, snake man, devil, demon comes around the corner. And, uh, I'm the one down on the... Eck is the one down on the bottom of the pit right now. Wait, what is that called again? Something in your shell? Bait? No, what did he say? What, what is it, having sex? Or oh. turtle? Grunt into the half shell. shell. Yeah, it's about to grunt, grunt your half shell. <laughs> <laughs> grunt into your half shell. Yeah. yeah, oh, so I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> no, you got Varian uh, and other people who can help you lay the smack down. Yeah. yeah. You got Varian, you got... Yeah. Uh, We're actually in the middle of initiative, right? So, yes, we are. Yeah. I believe yeah, I, have, I have yet to go and... It has initiative above you, though. Yeah, it has initiative above me, so I think I already went, didn't it? No, it's going to start with it. Oh. It's still moving, technically. Okay, but I, I haven't been able to fire anything off yet either. I've cast one spell today. That's it. Uh -huh. You need to cast more. Oh, yeah. And, I, <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it could be my little friend. That too. I don't know. If it, <laughs> see, that's, that's, that's one of the things. I don't know if I should save it for something bigger or if this is actually the big thing. Mm. But see, what we what you can't see is everything set up here, and when you watch us on the thing, you can see there's like a bar behind us. There's another whole map back there, so I'm like, hmm, should I save it or should I just blow yeah, it all right? I, that's that's I, I have a feeling that's this is medicating. not the big. The, yeah. the, there's there's other things that we're gonna no, be surprised. This is not about. medicating. You can see the second map. Well, this is obviously not the whole mine. I, yes, we know it's not the whole mine. So I think, mine, I think we're it, safe to say it all depends on which way we go, right? But the map, by the way, the, for those who are, are watching us, and, and the map is over there, but the map is covered up, so yeah, we have no we clue what it looks it. like. That's right. And yeah, uh, it could just be a whole bunch of pieces lined up in H A R H A R R from the DM. <laughs> just like, layered over top of it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, to keep us guessing. That's right. right yeah, it's we, haunting us. Uh, you may not, you may not realize. Know, typically, what we'll do is we'll film uh, a how they rolled uh, episode. Uh, right before our actual filming the next episode so right after we close up here we'll have a break uh, and then we will film our uh, episode 12 episode 12 1 and 2 episode 12 of Together We Roll good way to present that is for those of you who have made your perception check <laughs> we wear the same clothes Going right on, on the closing of, of how they rolled and uh, the beginning of, uh, the, beginning the, next of the next episode and so now we're down in the mine we're we're uh, Fighting uh, some kobolds, no issues there. A swobold, we don't know how, uh, how whether, whether or not that's going to show any threat to us at all. Uh, but then we have the salamander, and that's where we're going to pick up as we start our filming tonight. And uh, so, catch up on episode 11. If you haven't watched already, watch those part one, part two. Have some good laughs, have some touching moments, and some great great night of playing and a great great character work all around some good good stuff and we're really looking forward to a great play tonight and bringing some new stuff for you in episode 12 of together we roll so see you later check in next week till then keep on rolling bye, bye.